Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam and another video of PTC Creo Parametric series. In this video, we're going to talk about swap blend, specifically utilizing embedded sections or sketches. In our last video, we saw how we can perform swap blend using selected section. If you want to see and learn how we can create that variant, then you can check out our video that we have added in the description of this video. Now let's get back to our topic which is swept blend and this time are we going to use embedded section. Now first of all let's create a trajectory here. For that I am just using sketch tool and then um, my favorite spline as spline is I would say pinnacle of complex trajectory. As in case of spline the trajectory is continuous curvature because the value of radius is changing continuously. Now let's click here on swept blend. We do not need to create any additional sketches here. Let's select the trajectory. And now um, let's click on section. And then here we have got this sketch section. Now let's click on sketch. And now here we go. Here we can see the first sketch here we can create at this point. So basically this is I would say a virtual plane that is normal to this trajectory and pass through this endpoint. So let's click a rectangle here. Now let's click on insert. Now we need to specify the second point. So it could be endpoint or it could be point at certain distance. But here we can only see the option of end. Let's click on sketch. And let's also see how we can add more number of points here. Now here we go. Here we can see it is pretty straightforward uh, kind of swap blend because we only had option to add two cross section or two geometry. And then based on our need, uh, we can uh, rotate this. So in this way, guys, we can do sketch section type of swap blend. Now let me actually undo this and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few point here and we will see if we could create swept blend using multiple cross sections. Now let's click again on swept blend. Let's select the trajectory, go to section and let's again click on sketch section and now let's click here on sketch. Again, I'm going to quickly create a rectangle here to expedite and now um, let's click on insert now here I have a reference so instead of going directly to end I can select this point and then I can click again on sketch now again let me place another rectangle here and now again let's click on another sketch now let's again click on insert. Now we have got this last sketch. So in this way guys, we can utilize sketch section type of swept blend. And obviously here we can see this vertex is not meeting this one. Instead, this one is meeting this one. So what we can do here in this case is we can use this rotational feature or option let's make it 90 and seems like uh, we need to do it opposite direction so i'm gonna write minus 90 and there we go guys now we can see this vertex is now meeting this one so in this way guys based on our need uh, we can readjust it and then obviously you can play with tendency just like what we did in our some of previous example and can customize this complicated feature based on our need i hope guys you find this video helpful informational if yes then do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow complete ptc creo parametric series and i will catch you soon in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye